this beautiful evening. I have the pleasure of introducing our sponsor tonight, Vincent Pataglia, who is founder and CEO of Renova Solar. They are the market leader in providing solar services to the Coachella Valley. But even more important than that is Vincent is passionate about issues of sustainability and helping future generations with a better environment. Vincent? Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone. Um, so my name is Vincent Battaglia, and for the last 10 years, I've been installing solar. At least every day I've been installing solar, seven days a week. And it's because my purpose, my mission, is to cut you all from the cord. The electric utilities, the gas, coal, oil companies are all entrenched institutions. And unless we take action together, they're going to continue on their 100-year-old model. So I'm going to ask the first question tonight. Where are my disruptors in the audience? Where are my disruptors? All right, that was weak. All right, how about this? Who owns a solar system? There it is. All right. I, and then we'll go even further than that. Well, the reason why you're all into solar or you, you purchase a solar system, it's probably because of the savings, but it's also because you're disruptors. It's because you're tired of those entrenched institutions. There is a better way. You knew there was a better way, and now you live it, okay? So for those of you who don't have solar or are not considering yourselves disruptors, I heard that we have about 300 people here tonight. That's what I heard last night. So I thought about this. 300. Anyone ever see that movie? There was a group of, disru of, of, uh, of um, uh, disruptors. And that group fought against an entrenched institution, an entrenched idea. Okay? So I'm either going to call you Spartans or I'm going to call you disruptors tonight because I'm going to need your help here. Um, don't be worried. This is not an angry thing. This is not a revolution. This is an evolution. It's a rapid evolution that you're a part of. It's not a revolution. There's no violence involved here. And speaking of violence, I, for the past 10 years, the, the best philosopher that I know when it comes to speaking about uh, how to temper violence and do things uh, proactively but, but do things in an evolutionary way is Gandhi. And Gandhi had a beautiful four-step system. And every day over the past 10 years, this is what I remind myself. This is what gets me up in the morning. And that 10-step system has to do with when an entrenched institution meets with disruptors, like you, like my Spartans. The first step, those entrenched institutions, they basically ignore the disruptor. And I remember that 10 years ago. Terrible thing to be ignored. The utility would say, solar, those little panels you put up on the roof, that ain't never going to fly. They're, they're, there's all sorts of problems with it. And they ignored us. The second step, Gandhi says, when an entrenched institution meets with a disruptive idea is that they ridicule. And I remember the ridicule. Anyone else in the solar industry about eight years ago, we were ridiculed. Those solar panels will never pay for themselves. Seven to 50 years. You'll, oh, and by the way, they start fires, just so that you all remember. All the rumors, all the BS, right? And this is what I had to hear. The third step is the step we're in right now. And Gandhi says, that those entrenched institutions will fight. And that's where we're at right now. For the past year and a half, all we've been getting is pushback from the electric utilities. Why is that? Because they recognize they're circling the drain. Their model needs to change. And they're not willing to change it. So they hold up policy barriers. A case in point, and I'm going to go there. So, Sammy, please write this down, if you will. The Imperial Irrigation District, it's a stone's throw from here, folks. Do you know they can't go solar anymore? Do you realize that they unilaterally, the board, decided, whoa, there's an echo here, sorry. See, I'm not very passionate about what I do. I'll work on that. Um, so the board decided to unilaterally and without rate payer input, decided to cancel net metering. If anyone who has solar, you know what net metering is. You create those beautiful, clean solar electrons, you put them on the grid, so when your solar system shuts down at night, or on those really hot days, 
you draw back those credits. And guess what? You can't do that anymore in the IID. They rolled it back unilaterally without any discussion, any forewarning. And tonight I demand that they bring net metering back. They reinstate net metering. Sammy, that's N-E-M, net metering. Okay, so, all right, but, but now I'm sounding a little too revolutionary. It's evolution, right? So the fourth step, can anyone help me after, hold on, the first step is that they ignore you. That second step, they ridicule, they'll laugh, whatever. The third step, they fight. They fight till they're tired. Anyone tell me what that fourth step Gandhi says is inevitable. We win. Exactly right. So they will do whatever they want to do up to the point where we get them exhausted. And ultimately, we win, my Spartans. We will take this. Help me cut the cord. Because, by the way, they can do all the fighting they want to do. But I have batteries. And we will circumvent anything they do. Ten years from now, this will be a much different conversation. So I enjoyed my time up here, and, and uh, go solo.